In a dramatic turn of events, over 2,000 pro-Palestinian protesters took to the streets of Chicago, marching past pro-Israel demonstrators and toward the Democratic National Convention. While the majority of the march remained peaceful, tensions boiled over the previous night when a smaller, and sanctioned protest outside the Israeli consulate resulted in violent clashes with the police, leading to 56 arrests. The energy in the air was palpable as protesters, many of whom were bussed in from suburban mosques, raised their voices for Palestinian rights. The march was not just a demonstration, it was a powerful display of unity and defiance. Families, including children, joined the crowd, chanting and waving Palestinian flags. Raid Shuk, a father who attended with his young son, spoke passionately about the importance of standing up for humanity and teaching his children the value of peaceful protest. As the march wound its way through the city, the festive atmosphere was occasionally punctuated by moments of tension, especially when marchers confronted police actions near a newly constructed train station. Outside the United Center, the marchers made their voices heard, condemning local and national leaders for their perceived complicity in the ongoing conflict in Gaza. The protesters' call for justice and their willingness to stand firm in the face of opposition highlighted the deep-rooted emotions surrounding the issue. As the night wore on, the clashes subsided, but the message was clear, the fight for Palestinian rights will continue, and the city of Chicago remains a battleground for these critical issues. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates hit the bell icon to stay notified of our latest videos.